Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz are once again feuding on social media, running receipts past each other in the latest chapter of their storied online drama. The feud was reignited on early Wednesday morning after Conor McGregor tweeted a photo of the two facing off prior to their second fight at UFC 202 in 2016. Here are the tweets. Now add 30 pounds of muscle onto me and say ding ding in a Dublin accent. Bruh, you can't walk or fight right now. Why are you talking shit? We talk later. Who can't? Come through and see you little skinny fool. You be smacked up and rolled up you bum. Kelly's mine. Nah bitch. You should have learned how to not break your leg when I checked your shit and you crushed out of the fight with me. And how are you gonna fight me when you can't run for your life this time with your broken ass, you lost the last fight, and ran for the hills just like kebab. You're a bitch too. That means I'm the double triple champ of this whole shit all you pussy into the belly when i get ya p.s you jumped ship on your country bitch. go home don't you got any friends i ended this guy's career lol what happened to him get him back here you need some help and why don't you just throw your friends away shithead at the notorious mma don't forget kebab was scared as hell of me and he beat your ass and finished you off and don't forget, DP scared of me also, but he beat your ass and finished you too. You're all p***s. He fled the cage, and I boxed his whole family around. And nobody finished me, mate. I broke my leg. No one or nothing else done anything to me. And anyway, don't worry about them. I'm here in Kelly, months doing what I want. It's three on the street now, mate. Your little sport. It's just business. Remember, you're the sportsman. I showed you guys this street shit. I fought both your teams out the cage before any of you guys realized the real fight game. Sporty little b****s. I'm on a hair trigger, mate. You stay where you are in hiding if you know what's good for you, bro. God bless you, kid. Have a good day. The whole city I am. Last Sunday, Jake Paul defeated former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley via split decision. The scores read 77-75, 75-77, and 78-74, with two judges in favor of Paul. Taking to his social media on Wednesday, Ben Askren, who also fought and lost to Paul, weighed in on the Woodley vs. Paul boxing match and explained why he believes the former UFC welterweight champion did do enough to win the fight. Here's the clip. All right, guys. So what do I think about the Jake Paul time Woodley fight? Uh, because a lot of people have been asking me. So here's what I think. I may be biased. I think Tyron won. I had to score five to three. Um, the way I saw it, he was more aggressive. He was stalking. And he landed more effective punches. Now, Jake definitely out-volumed him. But I did not think the volume was all that effective. So I scored a five three. I know I'm not a great boxing mind, but I follow Chris Shields on Twitter. I think she kind of echo echoed the same sentiments that I did, so I think my opinion is pretty valid. Um, I thought that looked pretty solid for his boxing debut. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated he didn't beat up Jake Paul. Listen, that's what I wanted to happen too. I wanted him to knock Jake Paul's head off. He didn't get it done. Other thing that happened for me, I, I gained a lot of respect for Jake Paul. Now, I know he got TKO on me, but I knew I wasn't very good at boxing. I told all of you that, like, I'm not a very good boxer. I just think I'm better than he is. Okay, so when he got a knockdown on me, yeah, hey, whatever. He didn't earn my respect. Watching him versus Tyron, I have a lot of respect for Tyron's striking ability. And I think Tyron won the fight, but e either way, it was, it was a really highly competitive bout. And I think it's pretty evident. And the only way you're not going to think this is if you really hate the guy, and I don't hate him, I'm whatever towards him. Uh, 
pretty evident to me that he's worked pretty hard at this and he's pretty tough, right? He took some pretty big shots and tired and kept on fighting. So in that respect, he has earned my respect for sure. Uh, in, a, in a way that he didn't in my fight or any of the fights previously. According to MMA Fighting, CM Punk has notified the UFC that he has retired from mixed martial arts competition as he makes his full-time return to professional wrestling. Punk turned to MMA in 2016 and made his UFC debut at UFC 203 in Cleveland. It was a massive debut due to his star status in wrestling, but he got submitted in the first round to Mickey Gall. Following the loss, it was uncertain if Punk would fight again, but he returned at UFC 225 in June of 2018 against Mike Jackson, where he lost a unanimous decision. Speaking to RJ Clifford on SiriusXM Fight Nation 156, Tyron Woodley's longtime coach, Dean Thomas, shared his thoughts on the Paul vs. Woodley fight and explained why he believes the rematch between the two will not happen. Here's what he said. What were you thinking as we went into maybe the seventh round with only two rounds to go? I was thinking, um, I was like, all right, hopefully he can knock him out still. And then I was thinking it was kind of like a glorified sparring match. That's what it looked like to me. Like, yeah. you know, got, they weren't really trying to hurt each other or go out there and have a war or put on some performance that mm -hmm. wanted to make us see it again, which is why, like, I was a bit, I was a bit like, you know, when Tyron was like, yo, rematch, let's run it back. I was kind of like, there's no way this fight's going to happen again. Like, yeah. I don't think anybody's going to really be calling for this to happen again, regardless of of how bad he wants it. Because, I mean, they were like, you had your shot. You had your shot. And and they have every right to say that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't think it's going to happen again. And that's why I was just thinking, like, come on, Tyron. You, you can do this. Turn this up, man. I know you can knock this guy out. Speaking to UFC News a few days ahead of his fight with Darren Till, Derek Brunson shared his thoughts on the matchup and discussed a potential title shot if he wins on Saturday. Here's what he said. Oh yeah, for sure, you know, I, and I think that's a part of the game, you know. You apply yourself, you lock in, recommit, rededicate, and then things happen. Yeah, like you said, a lot of people were kind of like forgetting about me saying, hey, he's never going to get a title shot, blah, blah, blah. And now, yeah. It, it's starting to change a little bit, you know. The fans are really warming up to it. They, they want to see the title shot. They want to see the rematch, see what Blind Brunson can do. Oh, it's good, you know. Um, I was committed, you know. I said when I come here, I'm going to come out here for four or five weeks away from my family and sacrifice, and I needed to pay off, you know. And just from day one, Henry's been very stand-up saying, hey, you know, if, if you're not in shape, if you're not training, this is what's going to happen. I'm like, that's not going to happen in my head. So I applied myself, got to work, and it's good to see it pay off. You know, I've been here for about uh, two and a half years and four fights and four and oh so you're gonna keep going up um till's a guy and he's funny man he, he has a huge following uh he comes out there and bring it you know the guy can bang he has a he's, he's a southpaw has a good left hand very tricky on the feet so uh it's a matchup you know that's gonna be challenging but it can catapult me to bigger things oh absolutely you know it's like you know four and oh and picking up a win over till you know i mean a title shot should be right there, you know, considering the landscape of the division and who has won, who has the street going. So, yeah, it's very important for me to go out here and pick up a win, and that's my mindset, you know, go out here, get a big win, and get that rematch back. On Wednesday, Paulo Costa shared new grappling footage as he prepares for his upcoming fight against Marvin Vittori. The two are scheduled to fight at a UFC Fight Night event on October 23rd. Check out the footage.
Seis minutos. 